respect to x, y, and the origin. So to test the symmetry with respect to x-axis, substitute a negative y to y, then simplify the equation. If step b results to the original equation, when you simplify, then the equation is symmetrical with respect to x-axis. So let's try our example. So we need to substitute negative y to our y. So let's check negative y to our y is equal to x squared plus 5. And to simplify this is just uh, divide everything by negative. So we will have negative x squared minus 5, which is not symmetrical because it did not result to the same equation so meaning this one is not symmetrical with respect to x-axis and the second one we will substitute negative y to y so this one divide everything by negative this will result to not the same, so meaning it's not symmetrical with respect to x-axis. Then the last one, uh, the third one, we will substitute negative y in our y. So negative y squared is y squared. Then this one results to same equation as the given, meaning this one is symmetrical with respect to x-axis. Then let's have another example. So this one, we substitute negative y to our y which results to same thing so this will be not symmetrical not symmetrical to with respect with respect to x-axis and this we substitute also negative y so we have minus square root of 4 minus x squared is equal to 0 so this will be negative xy minus square root of 4 minus x squared so it's not the same with our original equation because this is positive this turn to be negative so this is not symmetrical with respect to x-axis and this we will substitute negative y absolute value now this will be negative then so not symmetrical to with respect to x axis now the second is to test symmetry with respect to y axis substitute negative x to x then simplify the equation if step b results to the original equation then the equation is symmetrical with respect to y axis so then let's do our second we will check if it is symmetrical with uh, y-axis. So we will substitute our x into negative. Then simplify. Negative x squared is still x squared. So this one is symmetrical with respect to y-axis. So the second one, we will substitute our x to negative x or negative x to our x. 
Oh wait, that's plus, sorry. So that is plus. Then this will be negative x squared still x squared and this is negative x. So the second uh, x changes so it's not actually similar to our original equation. So this one is not symmetrical with respect to y axis. Then this one we will substitute negative to our x plus 2 minus x simplify this turn to be negative x to the third minus 2x so this one is not symmetrical with respect to y axis then let's do the fourth one. So we will substitute negative x. So this one will not be symmetrical. So not symmetrical because the sign changes with respect to y axis. Now this one we will substitute so we have x negative x y minus square root of negative negative uh, 4 minus x squared is equal to 0 so this is negative xy minus square root of 4 minus x squared is equal to 0. This did not change but this changes so it's not symmetrical. with respect to y axis then this one we have negative x to the third plus negative x so simplify is negative x to the third minus x if you will analyze this it is not the same with the original, but since they're negative inside, you're still adding the result. Here, they're both positive, you add the result. But even it's a negative result, when you do the absolute value, it's still a positive result. So, for example, if we will have... y is equal to uh, x to the third plus x and let's say x is equal to negative 2 and also we will test x is positive 2 so when x is positive 2 you will have 2 to the third plus 2 so this will be 8 to the third is 8 plus 2 so this will end up to absolute value of 10 which is equal to 10. Then here if you will substitute x is negative 2, so y is equal to negative 2 to the third plus negative 2. So this will be negative 2 to the third is negative 8 minus 2, so this will be negative 10. And absolute value of negative 10 is positive 10. So they will end up the same result. So meaning, given it changes inside since they're both adding, then you can say this is symmetrical with respect to y axis. Then the last one that we need to do is we will check the symmetry with respect to the origin. So first is substitute negative x to x and negative y to y, then simplify the equation. If the uh, step b results to the original equation, then the equation is symmetrical with respect to origin. So now we can check our 
sorry, I dropped it. So let's check if it's symmetrical to the origin. So we will change negative y to our y and negative x to our x plus 5. This will be negative y is equal to x squared plus 5. So since it changes in the y, then you can say not symmetrical with respect to the origin. Then the third one here, so we will substitute negative. So this will be negative y is equal to negative x squared plus negative x. So this is negative y is equal to x squared minus x. Then this one is not symmetrical. With respect to the origin. So this one we have substitute negative, substitute negative, and substitute negative. So simplify this will be y squared is equal to negative x to the third minus 2x. So this one is not symmetrical with respect to the origin. Okay, then our fourth example, so substitute negative and negative plus 2 multiplied by negative. So this is negative is equal to negative x to the third minus 2x. So we see it's all negative, but if we divide everything by negative 1, this will result to the same equation. So this one is symmetrical with respect to the origin. Then this one we substitute negative x and negative y minus square root of 4 minus negative x square root is equal to 0. So negative multiplied by negative is positive. So minus square root of 4 minus x squared is equal to 0. As we can see, it's the same equation as the original from here. So meaning this is symmetrical. Symmetrical with respect to the origin. And the last one. We will substitute negative. Then we have negative x to the third plus negative x. Then absolute value. So this is negative y is absolute value of negative x to the third minus x. But since the y is negative, where in the original is positive, then it's not symmetrical. It's not symmetrical with respect to the origin. So this is how you will do, uh, you will check if it is symmetrical to x-axis, y-axis, and the origin. So the first thing is to test symmetry with respect to x-axis, you need to substitute negative y to y. Simplify the equation, and if step B results to the original equation, then the equation is symmetrical with respect to x-axis. To test symmetry with respect to y-axis, substitute negative x to x. Simplify the equation. If step B results to the original equation, then the equation is symmetrical with respect to y-axis. And last, to test symmetry with respect to the region, Substitute negative x to x and negative y to y. Simplify the equation. If step B results to the original equation, then the equation is symmetrical with respect to the origin.